Here you have a battery of electro electromotive force, 9 volts, and negligible internal resistance. Now this is important. Negligible internal resistance. resistance. We'll see what that means in a bit. But basically, your battery has 9 volts. It's supplying 9 volts in the circuit. Okay. So this one, the EMF is same as your the potential supplied to the whole circuit. Okay, so 9 volts. Then two resistors. We don't know one of it. And then... There is an output potential difference. What is this? This is basically saying like, well, what if you connected a voltmeter here and here? You will read 4 volts. That's what I mean. Okay? So there's a potential drop of 4 volts. Potential or voltage drop. AKA potential difference. 4 volts. What is the resistance of R? You know, scratch your head a bit. How to find R? Uh? Well, here's some facts that we need to dissect here first. Here you start off with 9 volts. You kind of like go up the waterfall. Then, because of this first resistor, you're going to have a drop already. I don't know why it is. Uh. Then, after that, it will drop again because of this resistor. And we know that one is 4 volts drop. Okay. So, if here already drop 4 volts, means this one must drop 5 volts or uh. If not where your volts come from, the total add up must equal to your whatever is supplied from your battery. So 5 volts, 4 volts. Okay, now what about the resistance? Here's the trick. We want to think about ratios. This one dropped 5 volts, 160. This one dropped lesser a bit, means this resistance has to be lesser. Long. But how much lesser? There are a few ways to do it, but here's one of them. When you think of ratios, the ratio of this section over this section, the drop will be 5 volts over 4 volts, right? That is the same ratio as this resistance over R. So, 160 ohm over who knows what ohm. Okay, these are ratios. Huh? Bigger, bigger resistance means bigger drop. Smaller resistance, smaller drop. Okay, so let's find R. You calculate R, you should get about 128 Ohms. Oh, is it this answer? There's one way to check. The other way is also a ratio method. This is to check. Ah. Check. If this 4 volt out of the whole 9 volts is this ratio. Okay, this is the total. Ah. Total. This is for that section only. Ah. That means this resistance, which was we found 1 to 8, should be the same ratio out of the total resistance of all the resistors. So uh, 160 plus 1 to 8. So this is our total V. This one is our total resistance. Check and see, correct or not, the ratio? So I'm going to check 1 to 8 over 160 plus 1 to 8. 4 over 9, 4 over 9. Okay, correct. Okay, so the ratios can be between both sections, either from this section, uh, sorry, this section and this section, you compare the ratio, or you compare the ratio of one section over the whole thing also can work. After all, they're all ratios.